Hello everyone. Welcome to the financial account lecture series. Today we are going to consider a simple problem on royalty sublease. Let me narrate the story here. Arith is a scientist. He invented a new medicine for COVID-19 virus and he acquired patent right for it to manufacture and sell. He transferred the patent right to Bharat Biotech for a royalty of rupees 50 per dose of bottle sold subject to a minimum rent of 37,40,000 per annum. So here you should note the major change rupees 50 per dose of bottle sold. So here the royalty is calculated based on sales rather than the manufacturer. With a right to recoup short working of any one year within two subsequent years only. So within two subsequent years, that means it's a floating a short working recoupment. And as far as please, on the same day, Bharat Biotech transferred the same portion, some portion of patents to Panacea Biotech Delhi to manufacture and sell the vaccine for a royalty of rupees 120 per dose of bottles manufactured. Here, 50 rupees royalty per dose of sales and here it's per dose of manufacture with a minimum rent of 16 lakh rupees per annum with a right to recoup the short workings in the following year only. So here it's again floating short working recoupment only in the immediate next year they can recoup the short working. They are given the following additional adjustments that means they are given the bottles sold by Bharat Biotech, that means let's see, bottles sold by Panacea Biotech, that is sub see, and here the closing stock of sub see. So here you can identify this the main lease contract uh, details and here it is sub lease contract details. So you are required to prepare necessary ledger accounts in the books of let's see. Hope you can able to identify the uh, personalities here. Here, Mr. Bharat is a lesser who is the inventor or the owner of patent rights. And here, Bharat Biotech is the lessee who make use of the patent. And Pinasha Biotech is a sub lessee again who make use of the right and pay the royalty to lessee here. So the first task is to prepare the royalty table. That is royalty table payable by Bharat Biotech Lessee to Mr. Bharat Lesser. So let me start the calculations here. The first task is to consider the year as well as sale. So here they are given the three years information. Let me type here 2018, 2019 and 2020. And I should write the sales. As far as the sales, let me check the sales here. I should consider the total sales made by lessee as well as the sub lessee. So for the first year, 45,000 plus 10,000. So it is 55,000. And here, again, I should check for the 2019. For the year 2019, 60,000 plus 27,000, so total I should write 87,000, sorry, 87,000 and again I should check for the last year sales, it is 58,000 plus 20,500, so total sales for the year 2020 is 78,500 and I should calculate the royalty here. So, royalty is based on sales. So, sales number of units into royalty per unit. So, 55,000 into 50 rupees here. So, here it is 27,50,000. And here 87,000 into 50 rupees. So, 43,50,000. And 
and here 78,500 into 50 rupees so it is 39,000 so 39 lakh 25,000 and I should write the minimum rent I'll check the problem what is the minimum rent for the main lease so as far as the main lease the minimum rent is 37 lakh 50,000 rupees per annum I'll write the same thing here 37 lakh 50,000 for all the columns for the first year for the second year and here for the third year i should write a surplus or short working here for the first year royalty is 27 lakh 50 thousand and minimum rent is 37 lakh 50 thousand so minimum rent is higher so there is no surplus and the difference 10 lakh rupees represents short working and in the second year, royalty is 43,50,000 and minimum rent is 37,50,000. So here, royalty is higher than minimum rent. So I should check the balance here. It is 6 lakh. And of course, no short parking. And in the last year, it's 39,25,000 and 37,50,000. So here, again, we have surplus. So it is 1,75,000. And here, it is in the left hand. So I should check short working recuper, short working carry forward and short working return off. For the first year, there is no surplus to adjust. We have short working, so we cannot adjust any balance here. And we need to carry forward the entire balance. And written off as net. So I should check the final payment. As well as the final payment, it, uh, 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 we have a formula that is royalty or minimum rent. So here. Yes. cash payment for royalty that is royalty or minimum rent whichever is higher less royalty recuperated so here royalty is 27 lakh 50000 and here 37 lakh 50000 higher amount is minimum rent so 37 lakh 50000 minus recoupment zero so the final payment should be equals to 37 lakh 50000 rupees and in the second year, we have a surplus of 6 lakh rupees and short working 10 lakh rupees. So, whichever is the less should be considered for recoupment. So, here lesser amount is 6 lakh considered for recoupment. So, here you can verify that recoupment condition is that we can recoup within the next two years. So, short working occurred in 2018, which can be recoupered within 2000. 20. So 10 lakh minus 6 lakh remaining 4 lakh is transferred to next year. So return of balance is nil. I should consider the final payment 43 lakh 50,000 is a higher amount minus 6 lakh. So the remaining balance is again 37 lakh 50,000 rupees. In the last year, we have surplus of 1,75,000 and short working 4 lakh. Whichever is lesser is considered for recoupment. Here lesser amount is 1,75,000. Out of 4 lakh rupees, we recoup 1,75,000 rupees. And the remaining balance that we can carry forward or return now. But as far as carry forward, we can recoup within two years only we cannot carry it to next year so for that reason we cannot carry the balance to next year the remaining balance should be written off 4 lakh minus 1 lakh 75 thousand so the remaining balance 2 lakh 25 thousand should be considered as irrecoverable and should be written off Consider the final payment. Royalty or minimum rent, whichever is higher, higher amount is 39,25,000 minus recoupment 1,75,000. So the final balance should be 37,50,000 rupees again. 
So the major change in this particular problem is in terms of sales. So they are given the sales for royalty calculation. A royalty should be calculated based on the number of uh, doses sold. So for that reason, royalty equals to sales into royalty per dose. So hope you understood the preparation of a royalty table for mind lease. Of course, it is a basic for our all ledger accounts. So we should keep prepare this table with utmost care. And the next table is the royalty paid by Panacea Biotech to Bharat Biotech. So here the royalty is based on output rather than sales. So here we should find out the output. So I'll go back to the problem. Uh, here you can find the sales made by lessee given, the sales made by sublessee is given and closing stock of sublessee is given. But output they have not given. So this output we have to calculate now based on these two information. And the yearly information sales matu closing stock. E yearly information in the number of Doses manufactured and a calculate mark So here, of course, we have a formula manufactured doses equals to sales plus closing stock minus opening stock. For all the years, we should repeat the same formula. So for this, I'll just copy the sales and closing stock from the problem. So here they have given the sales of sub as well as the closing stock of sub is given. So I'll just paste here. So now we have two par particulars here, sales and closing stock. So we need to find out the manufacturer. For the first year, the opening stock is nil because there is no information. So we assume that there is no opening stock. So it's nil. So I need to consider the manufactured units. So here 10,000 plus 2,000 sales plus closing stock 2,000 minus 0. So here manufactured units is 12,000. And here the previous year closing stock will become opening stock for the next year. So here opening stock is 2,000. Now 27,000 plus 5,000 minus 2,000. So 27,000 plus 5,000. So it is 32,000 minus opening stock 2,000. So number of doses manufactured is 30,000. And in the last year, so here, closing stock of previous year will become opening stock for the current year. So 20,500 plus 1000 so it is 21500 minus 5000 so the remaining balance is 15500 500 doses so hope you can prepare this table with the help of this formula manufactured doses equals to sales plus closing stock minus opening stock and i need to copy these manufactured doses to our second royalty table that is royalty payable by sub lessee to lessee. So now we need to calculate the royalty. So here royalty formula is output into royalty per dose. So here for the first year it's the 12,000 doses into 120 rupees per dose. So it is 14,40,000 and here second year 30,000 into 120 rupees, so it is 36 lakh rupees. And in the last year, 15,500 into 120 rupees, so it is 18 lakh 60,000. And minimum rent, I should write, I'll check the problem here. So in the problem, they have given the minimum rent is 16 lakh rupees per annum. So I'll write minimum rent. 16 lakh in all the years. So it's a 16 lakh for the first year. Again, 16 lakh rupees for the second year and third year. There is no change 
in the minimum rent. And in the surplus or short working, I need to find out. So here, for the first year, minimum rent is 16 lakh and royalty is 14 lakh 40 thousand. So minimum rent is higher, there is no surplus. And short working, 16 lakh minus 14 lakh 40 thousand. So difference is 1 lakh 60 thousand rupees. In the second year, Royalty is 36 lakh and minimum rent is 16 lakh. So the difference 20 lakh rupees represents surplus and no short working. Your 18 lakh 60 thousand minus 16 lakh. So 2 lakh 60 thousand rupees represents surplus and no short working. I need to calculate short working recouped. For the first year, surplus is nil, so it's nil. Carry forward, I can carry forward 1,60,000 rupees and no return of here. For the final payment, minimum rent or royalty, whichever is higher, less royalty recoupled. So here, higher amount is 16 lakh minus recoupled balance nil. So the final payment should be 16 lakh rupees. In the second year, Again, recoupment here. So we have a surplus of 20 lakhs and carry forward short working 1,60,000. So whichever is lesser should be considered for recoupment. Here lesser amount is 1,60,000. Again, recoupment condition is that we can recoup the short working only uh, uh, in the immediate e next year. Now, Next year, only matra short working and a recruitment mark will be done. So, if twenty lakh rupees surplus is one lakh sixty thousand short working is there, if there is any other money left, that amount is now recruitment. So, here twenty lakh or one lakh six thousand, which is less than is considered for recruitment. Carry forward, there is no further balance of short working and return of is also null. So, I should consider the final payment. So, here. Minimum rent or royalty which is higher, higher amount is 36 lakh minus short working recouper 1,60,000. So the remaining balance is 34,40,000. In the last year, there is no short working recoupment, neither carry forward nor return. So the final payment is 18,60,000. So this is how we need to prepare the royalty table for sub-place. Again, you should uh, focus on the output here. So output that we have calculated here. Based on the sales and closing stock, we need to calculate the output. The formula is manufactured unit equals to sales plus closing stock minus opening stock. So the next task will start from this ledger accounts so as far as the ledger accounts in the books of lessee we need to prepare these six ledger accounts so there is no compromise all the six ledger accounts are compulsory right here we are going to start with royalty payable accounts and of course i'll show how to prepare royalty payable accounts and royalty receivable account in this class and all the remaining ledger accounts I'll leave to you and I expect you to complete all the remaining ledger accounts. So as far as the first one, the journal entry royalty payable account is royalty due and the second is royalty transfer. Of course, in case of sublease, we usually uh, form this additional entry that is royalty receivable account debits to royalty payable account. But for this problem, it, there is no need to pass this entry. The reason is if the royalty is calculated based on sales, no need to pass this additional entry. Only these two entries are enough. So I'll start with. This ledger accounts, royalty payable account, 
for the year 2018. So here, royalty payable account debits to lesser account. So here, lesser is Mr. Bharat. So Mr. Bharat's account. I should check the royalty due. So royalty due is 27,50,000 rupees for the first year. So I'll write. 27 lakh 50,000 rupees. So here, yeah, royalty based on sales. You can check in the journal entries here. If the royalty is based on the production or output or extraction, we should transfer the balance to production account. But here, royalty based on sales. So we need to transfer the balance to profit and loss account. So here, 2018 for transfer of balance so profit and loss account debits to royalty payable account so entry is by profit and loss account so here entire amount will be recorded 27 lakh 50 thousand so only two entries will appear i'll close the books for the first year 27 lakh 50 thousand on the debit side and 27,50,000 on the credit side. 2019, again the same transaction repeats two Bharat's account here, two lesser's account. So here I should check the royalty amount. 2019, royalty due was 43,50,000. I'll write here. Yes, 43,50,000 royalty due. In the year 2019, the same transaction repeats by profit and loss account. So here, profit and loss account, entire balance will be transferred 43,50,000 rupees. Again, I should write the total here, 43,50,000 on the debit side and 43,50,000 on the credit side. In the year 2020, the same transaction, royalty payable account debit to Mr. Bharat's account. I should check the royalty due. In the royalty table, the royalty due was 39,25,000. So here it is 39,25,000. On the credit side, the same transaction repeats by profit and loss account for transfer of royalty amount. Entire amount will be transferred. So 39,25,000 on the debit side and the same amount on the credit side. No further entries. So you should remember in a royalty payable account, only two entries will appear. The first one, royalty due. That is royalty payable account debit to lesser account and the second entry is for transfer of royalty profit and loss account debit to royalty payable account. So only three, only two entries in three accounting years. And the next ledger account I, I wish to show you is royalty receivable account. Just opposite to this. So here again I'll write. 2018. So here the entry for royalty due is surplus account debits to royalty receivable account. So here by sublessies account. So sublessie is Pinacio Biotech Limited. So it is. Spelling. Financial Biotech. So I should check the royalty due in the second royalty table. Royalty due was 14,40,000. So I should write here 14,40,000. And on the debit side, 2018, which should be transferred to production account. So to Production or profit and loss account here. Yes, it's on profit and loss account. Entire amount I'll write 14,40,000.
you should remember no need to pass an additional entry here so the reason is it's based on the sales so for that reason we directly carry the balance to for profit and loss account in the year 2019 the same transaction repairs by panacea biotech I should check the royalty due for the second year. It's 36 lakh rupees. I'll write it's 36 lakh rupees. And on the debit side, 2019, two profit and loss account. So it is 36 lakh rupees. It's an income to let's see. So we are going to credit profit and loss account. Debit side 36 lakh and credit side again 36 lakh. In the year 2020, again the same transaction by Penasia Biotech. I should check the royalty due in the second table. It's 18 lakh 60,000. I'll write. 18 lakh 60,000 and on the debit side 2020 the same transaction to profit and loss account to profit and loss account I should check the royalty due so here for the third year 18,60,000 is the due amount. So I'll write here 18,60,000. By Panacea Biotech, 18,60,000. So I'll write the total 18,60,000 on the debit side and 18,60,000 on the credit side. Sorry. Eighteen lakh sixty thousand here and here eighteen lakh sixty thousand. So this is all about the royalty receivable and royalty payable account. So hope you understood and I will prepare the list rest of the ledger accounts. The special adjustment in this problem is royalty is calculated based on sales in the main list. So for that reason we have not pause the special or adjusted entry and royalty receivable and royalty payable account of course the, all the remaining ledger accounts are thank you for watching take care and happy learning